you've really caught on in the social media world with all these pictures you've been sending out. What are a couple of your favorite pictures that you've tweeted? Well, certainly so far, coming up over the coast of Chile uh, and seeing the volcanic field that I saw there, that was really spectacular. Uh, and then just this morning, uh, we came over the, the northern coast of Australia, and uh, I was in the cupola with uh, Dr. Swanson, and we just looked down. The way the clouds and the red desert met the ocean, uh, from up here, the view was absolutely spectacular, and it's, it's burned in my mind, and I'm never going to forget uh, this morning. One of my favorite pictures you sent was the picture of the red dye as it was uh, floating in space. Tell me about that. Well, my grandfather, uh, I don't know why, but he would always just give me these red playing dye when I was a kid and uh, playing dice. And uh, I really just, I loved them as a kid. And I've always kept a, a handful of them in my jewelry chest at home. And right before I left, I threw a few of them in a Ziploc bag and uh, I brought them with me. And I don't know why that picture worked so well. It's just really neat to see that crisp red dye against the blackness of space with our Earth under it. I think the, the playing dye is something that, that everybody can kind of relate to. So it's like a, a little toy up there floating around that everybody can imagine. But it's in this completely foreign environment. And I think that's why that picture is so spectacular. You know, I'm curious, uh, Commander Wiseman, how do you tweet from there? I, I take it you don't have a, a smartphone on you. No, there is no smartphone, but <clears throat> uh, if I see something that I really like, I actually uh, send it down to uh, some of our folks at NASA in Houston, and, uh, and they go on to Twitter and post that for me. So I'm basically using email as a conduit to get these tweets out there. Uh, it's really the only way to do it. If I had to log on to the Internet every time, I would spend 90% of my day trying to get onto Twitter and uh, the other 10% work. And in reality, it's about 99% work and 1% uh, taking good pictures out the window. Are you aware of sort of the celebrity that you have achieved back here just uh via all your sort of stunning uh, photos that you've posted to Twitter and Flickr and all the other uh, social media websites? Uh, my wife's been keeping me up to speed on some of the, the news clippings, but absolutely astonishing to me. I certainly did not set out for any of that. I just wanted to share kind of my first impressions up here for the first week or two of, of what it's like to be a, a rookie on the space station. And uh, really, that was my goal. And uh, apparently, it struck a chord. So that's pretty neat. What do you hope to achieve with uh, the sort of captive audience that you've attained through all of your pictures? Really, just uh, just to kind of maintain, I wouldn't say reawaken, but just the, the magic of spaceflight and putting a human into such a foreign place. Uh, and this really is a foreign place. Everything is just unusual up here. The view, the living, uh, the way we work, the way we eat. And if I could just capture a little of that and, and spark some imagination in some folks uh, around the world, back in the U.S. in particular, then that's mission accomplished for me.